Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm Joe Smoking Joe's Pit Barbecue. And I'm James with Amon McClaimon Smokers. And today we're having a rib throwdown. Stay tuned. All right, so let's get these uh, ribs rubbed down. I'm starting with a good layer of the garlic jalapeno seasonal. You guys know I love this stuff. Just a good layer, nothing too heavy. Just like that. Second rub I'm using is an SPG. A little bit heavy on the pepper. Just put a light layer of this. Just like that. Third layer using the Nutty Pecan from Victory Lane Barbecue. If you notice, I'm starting to go a little bit heavier once I get to the Nutty Pecan, okay? Just a little bit heavier. Just like that. And the third rub is this competition rib rub. And I'm going to go a little bit heavier on this one as well. Now this is the bottom side of the ribs. And I think that the seasoning the bottom side of the ribs is just as important as the top because as you're biting into the, the uh, ribs, you know, the, your tongue hits the bottom of these, the rib first. So it's just as important. A lot of people don't pay too much attention to the bottom side. I do. Okay. Flip them over. Just like that. Now, one thing I didn't mention is I injected these ribs with some Victory Lane uh, barbecue uh, pork injection. Okay. So that's what I have in here. That's why you see this kind of glaze on the top. That's going to act as a, as a binder, if you will. So just reverse everything. Garlic jalapeno seasonal. Just like that. My SPG, just a really light layer. Now, one thing about these ribs <clears throat> that I didn't notice through the package, it's got a real heavy fat pocket right here. And I chose not to mess with it. I'm going to leave it on there because if you start to dig into it, your ribs are going to be a little bit deformed, if you will. So I left that alone. So just leave it alone. And the Nutty Pecan, again, a little bit heavier. Just like that. If you get rub on the counter, don't worry about it. Your counter is going to taste good. And then the competition rib rub. All right, I'm going to finish seasoning these up. We'll see what James is going to put on his ribs. Then we'll go outside to the smoker, so stay tuned. Three, two, one. All right, you guys, so Joe already seasoned his ribs up. You just saw a clip of that. Now I'm going to season mine. Unlike Joe, Joe brought out the big guns, man. He's injecting and everything. He's even using top secret. Is it even on the market yet? Competition rub. It is. It is. <laughs> I think, you know, I thought about injecting, but uh, I ain't going to do that. But I am going to um, make a smear for these ribs. You guys seen any of my last few videos, you know that uh, the butter and uh, Worcestershire are the combos that I prefer. Top secret right here. The secret is out. Don't tell nobody. <laughs> or I'm banning all of you. Yeah, I'm just gonna. You guys saw what Joe was using. Here I just have a SPG. We 
get some of that on there. Then I'm gonna hit it with some uh, killer hogs. Now I will tell you that um, this is the first time I'm using this rub combination because I wanted to try some stuff out. So I don't know that I'm gonna show everything. Uh oh, I'm dirty already. So how do you feel about seasoning the bottom of the ribs, James? Um, I think it's important. Uh, I think I got it in the, in the, your clip. You were talking mm -hmm. about when they go bite the rib. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> the first thing that tongue touches is uh, the bottom of the rib. So it's important to season them up. However, I will say that I don't go as heavy as you did on yours. Mm -hmm. um, On the bottom part, at least. <clears throat> Flipped over. So are we going to say what that fourth uh, rub was? What, 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 what rub? Yeah, that, yeah, I don't know what it was. You can see it on the camera, but it he's not saying. It, I think he put something else in there personally. Um, I'll just say I'm not uh, someone who normally uses original containers. Uh, oh. Another you'll be secret. a lot. You'll you'll see a lot of people at comps uh, coming over your area and mm. hey, how's it going? Just a shig. Um, mm. Shigging is you know what shigging means is they come to your area and act like they're your friend and you know hey, how are your day going? But really, they're while they're there, they're looking around and seeing you know what rubs you have laid out, what sauces you have laid out. That's shigging. So mm. that's why I never use original containers. So we're just gonna repeat the process on the top. I'll show you what they look like as soon as they're done. We're gonna let that rub sweat in and then we're gonna get them out on the smoker. All right guys, we're outside at the Yoda Frontiersman and my temperature is set at 275 degrees. I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. Now on this cook, I'm gonna put the ribs on the top rack here, but I wanna show you how they sweat it out. Look at that. Nice, like, like meat candy apples, if you will. So just uh, grab them from the bottom. I'm actually gonna pull this rack out a little bit. Put them all the way back here. Bunch them up, just like that. Grab the next one. Now this rack is a little bit meatier on the right side, so I'm gonna put the meatier side towards the firebox. So this is the meteor set right here. So that's going towards the firebox. Joe brought up the big guns. He injected his ribs. Yeah, buddy. <clears throat> he really wanted to win. <laughs> so there we go. We're going to let uh, James put his ribs on. And I'll bring you guys back. Right, so, so we just got doing. the ribs on. <clears throat> what they look like those are Joe's in the back. He already started to cheat by injecting. <laughs> and these are mine here. So as long as they taste better, I don't care what he puts on them. That's right. As long as mine tastes better. Oh, I thought you were complimenting no, me no, no, for a no, minute. No, no, no. As long as mine tastes Man, better, this guy's taking this competition a little too far. Hey, money is money. <laughs> a dollar is a dollar. A dollar is an autograph dollar. <laughs> an autograph dollar. So we're going to uh, cook at about 275. We'll let him go and check back, I don't know, 45 minutes or so. Take a look at him and see if we need a spritz. All right, guys. We're about 45 minutes into the cook. And I believe... James is going to spritz with a little bit of uh, butter. I'm using some apple cider vinegar and water. I can't believe it's not butter. You, I can't believe you can't you're using say it's butter. butter because somebody's going to, I guarantee you, leave a comment saying, that's not butter. Why aren't you using butter? <laughs> so don't you dare call it butter. It's not butter. Sure. <laughs> Someone will have something to say. Get this bottom one down here as well. It's going to give it a nice shine. Again, people's gonna say, why aren't, why aren't you using real butter? Well, this melts different. <clears throat> it doesn't congeal like real butter. So, that's why cooks prefer this over real butter a lot of times for the mm -hmm. spritz. Mm -hmm. So again, I'm just gonna use apple cider vinegar and water. Just a, a light spritz. That's it. Huge difference in the color <clears throat> of these ribs which is, uh, I think, there's going to be a huge difference in flavor. But this is going to be interesting. 
Yeah, I mean, they, mine are still gonna be better, but okay. You know. But look at look at look at the meteor ribs over there. Yeah, but we're not. I mean, we're not voting on the size of the rib. We're voting on taste. It's the it's the amount of meat they're on the bone. They're gonna have too much. Like, they're gonna bite into those big old ribs, and there's gonna be too much fat in there. I guarantee oh, it. Oh God, here we go. I guarantee it. This guy takes the competition too serious, but guys, this oh, is where we're at. No, don't even. Go. <laughs> Forty-five minutes in, this is where we're at. We're going to give it another probably thirty minutes. Come back and see if we got the color, and probably at that point we'll we'll wrap them. So stay tuned, guys. All right, guys, it's been two hours since we put our ribs on, and James and I are going to wrap. Got a little bit of honey, got some brown sugar, got some butter, and we're going to go ahead and put the ribs on with the meat side down. Look at this beautiful rack of ribs here. Man, that's pretty. So then we're just gonna reverse the process. I think James is pulling out his ribs. His ribs look nice as well. I'm meat side up. So I'm meat side down now. A little bit of butter. Thank you. A little bit of brown sugar. Not too much. Oh man, oh, oh man. Oh my God, here he goes. Oh. He's, <laughs> he's already surprised. Dog. Then we're going to put a little bit of honey. How is it, man? That oh, was good. Oh, come on, man. Not for real. I mean, your, yours, I'm, I'm sure, are going to be really good, too. Okay, okay. But I'm just saying, I, I think they're, I'm, I'm happy with the, the, the flavor. I, I uh, think I'm out of honey. <laughs> just a little bit of honey. Just like that. So then, simple wrap. You guys have seen me do this. Those of you guys that follow my channel. Just uh, fold it over, just like this. Lift up one side, twist it, fold it in. And then I'm gonna lift one side and put some apple juice in there, just like this. Whoa, got that butter on my fingers. Holy cow, there we go. Mm -mm. Just a little bit of apple juice, just like that. Then grab the other end, get twist free. it, free. lay it flat. And I'm actually gonna do a double wrap just in case you puncture your foil when they go back in the smoker. So I'm doing the same thing. I put the butter, brown sugar, honey, but then I put some sauce. Um, and honestly, I don't even cook my ribs like this, but I'm trying to keep up with Joe. Yeah, that's what he said earlier. He said my peeps are used to my flavor profile, so. Yeah. He's trying to mimic my my favorite my flavor profile. When in Rome, so. do as the Romans. That's what he says. So, guys, these are going to go back in the smoker. I like to leave mine in the foil for probably another hour, um, since we went this far, uh, two hours in the smoker like this, and um, wrap for one hour, and then at that point we'll take them out. And careful, James, that's hot. Well, not just, hot today. Oh, oh, me. oh okay. Me. So again, now we're in the smoker, and then. Uh, We'll bring you guys back at that point, so stay tuned. All right. All right, these ribs have been going for two hours. Oh, I'm sorry, one hour. One hour, one hour wrap. Let's, Let's take, a look, take a look. Let me zoom you guys in a little bit closer. See what James got going on over there. Oh man, smelling good. Ooh, damn it, are hot. Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh man, yeah, I got some nice pull back there. Yeah, so James's ribs. I might could use my thermopan pan just to check the tenderness. Done. Yeah, they're they're extremely tender. Yeah, they're, they're reading. If, if anyone is wondering, they're reading right about two o two. We might need a bachelor to get these out. Right. Any of these? Yeah. We want to take both ears out first. Oh, we can just do one. You can put it, lay it here for now. Ooh. Ooh. 
Ooh, the man. Back. Wow, these things. This, this bone right here is already falling out. Yeah. But these things are done. Let me see the. Let me grab your foil. These suckers are looking good. So what we're going to do right now, guys, is kind of let the um, let the, the bark dry up a little bit, probably 10, 15 minutes, and um, then we'll come back and sauce them. But you can see there. Now, this is the reason why I didn't trim that fat. So it has rendered off quite a bit. Um, but had I cut this off, I'd have a big gash in there. So that's definitely not something that we wanted. But uh, both ribs look really, really good. Uh, two totally different colors. Um, but they look good. Um, <clears throat> James got some nice pullback. These have a little bit of pullback. But these will pull back a little bit more, just leaving them sitting there for another 15 minutes or so. Yeah. At that point, we'll come back and sauce them. So, yeah. so we're going to unwrap the other two, lay them out, and then uh, we'll put back up once they're done and we actually take them inside, more than likely. Yeah. So that's what they look like now. Stay tuned, guys. All right, guys, so it's been three hours and 45 minutes, and now it's time to sauce them. And I've got some sauce that I made up here. Me too. So James does too. So he's gonna, looks like he's spritzing there a little bit. It's just a little trick. So, oh, you know what? I already messed up, but that's all right. You messed up when you challenged me. Oh, hell, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> so, gonna. Flip them real quick and sauce the other side first. Look at how meaty these bad boys are. Brush it on. Get the sides, get the bones. There we go. Hey, Jerry. Will you hold these up? Oh, like yeah. They're looking mighty, mighty good. Look at the pullback on James's rack there. That's crazy. I want to put them inside the smoker a little bit. There you go. Back on a little bit. Let me see those tongs there. So we're going to flip this rack back over. I'm just going to sauce one on camera and then the rest will sauce afterwards. Now these are going to probably sit in the smoker still for another five minutes or so. Let the sauce set a little bit. But man, these are looking good. They're nice and tender. We probed them earlier when we took them out of the foil and they were pretty darn tender. I'm, they've actually tightened up a little bit more, so. That's it. Looking like a glazed candy apple. Oh yeah. So we're gonna sauce them up, let them sit in the smoker for probably five minutes. Then we'll see you guys inside as we're slicing. Stay tuned. All right, so the ribs are ready. This is a, my rack here, and these are James's racks right here. So I'm gonna just grab a couple of slice or slice a couple of ribs, put them in an aluminum tray pan right here. Then we're gonna number them, number one and number two, let our guest taste the ribs and have them come up with a winner. So I'm using my electric knife. I think these are really tender. That's the reason. These bones are kind of straight, so here we go. Let's check them. Yeah, they're tender. Oh, yeah, so, here we go. I mean, it's almost falling off the bone. So, I'm going to slice these up, put them in a tray, and we'll let you guys know what the people say. So, so let's take ribs. I got my ribs. We're going to cut them up, <clears throat> place them in the tray, 
and uh, let people get to judging. So, let's get this cut up. There you go. Good looking ribs there. So this is uh, well, mine look all sliced up. But look at James's nice, good smoke ring on both these ribs. I gotta tell you, they both look really good. So we'll see what the judges say. Stay tuned. Yeah, we're gonna place these off the pan. All right, so the. The voting is done, and you guys aren't going to believe this. So we, it was a dead tie. We had eight people try our ribs. Here's the votes right here. Here's James's votes. So all I got to say, James, is... All I got to say is I'm still undefeated. Hey, I'm going hey, to consider this a win because you have, you have beat some pretty big barbecue players with with ribs and he's got a ring on his finger that says number one in ribs so i'm gonna i'm gonna consider that a win so that that is that is good we're gonna have to do this another day to settle it i keep my dollar i get to keep my dollar because we were gonna whoa who's that gil so gracious enough to judge so thank you guys thank you guys for hope for judging the ribs. ribs hope you guys like the ribs well, i'm going to consider this a win <laughs> good job james yeah now i got to taste your ribs too i got to taste my ribs so thanks again guys hello welcome back to my channel i'm joe smoking joe's pit barbecue and i, I thought you meant i thought you said your name wrong <laughs>